Happy Day 23. I don't know if you guys are truly going to see this, but the sunrise right now is so gorgeous. Tons of clouds. Oh, it's chilly though. I need to get back inside. <laughs> but it's so pretty I had to share with you. Hopefully it comes across in the video. Day 23. Oh, we've got peppermint bark chocolate. Day 23 of the doggy advent calendar. Oh, this one is that like apple cinnamon, smaller little training treats. So about to drop off some cookies and this present to my friend Jennifer that we went to the, um, what's it called? The Christmas Carol with. And then I also got some more Christmas cards in the mail. We got one from our counselor, Grace, one from a friend and subscriber, Brian, one from my good friends, Brian and Jackie, and their pup, Bella. <laughs> and then one from my good friends, Aubrey and Jake, that you may remember we were, or I was in their wedding this year in February. So they have their beautiful one of their beautiful wedding photos. And then, yeah, love it. Some more cards, I need to make more space on the fridge. Last gift going under the tree. I'm gonna have her hold it. <laughs> That's not for you, honey. <laughs> but most of the gifts are around the tree on this side. And then we have a few in our bedroom too. Mommy's all done with the gifts. Yeah. Light Pest is here today to get rid of all the little buggies before everyone shows up for Christmas at our house. But look, they have antlers, little Rudolph antlers on their car. So we definitely should have been doing a cleaning montage, but I couldn't really do that because I was all over the house <laughs> and still going because the kitchen needs to get cleaned up after I finish the cookies today. And we're, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am hosting Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Christmas Eve with my family and Chris's mom and then Christmas Day with the rest of his family because they have their anniversary on Christmas Eve, so they'll be away. Um, so we'll be having two dinners. So that's why I'm going crazy trying to get everything clean um, and ready for Chris's mom because she's going to be sleeping over in our guest room too for one night with the pups too. Um, so yeah, just just got done dusting and then we're just doing the floors in the kitchen. Nothing too crazy, but I say that, but then once I start dusting, I go crazy and I was doing like the baseboards and everything. <laughs> I can't help myself. Okay, now I really gotta go back to the kitchen and get started with the rest of those cookies. Look how adorable this wrapping is from my friend Jennifer. Okay, I sadly have to rip this. Okay, I will show you in a sec what it is. Oh my gosh, how cute. Actually, I'll just show you here. Because that was quicker than I thought. Look how cute. Oh my goodness, I love these. I don't have any, I don't think I have trees. I have snowflakes and I have, um, I have different size snowflakes and I have a candy cane one. But I don't think I have little trees. Thanks, Jennifer, I love them. I will totally use that. All right, let's see. This feels like it's a frame. Oh no, I think it's some kind of tan. Let's see. Oh, nice. It's a three piece bakeware set. How nice. This is a really nice pan. And then you have like the dryer, drying um, racks. Oh, 
Thank you so much, Jennifer. Love them. And then Eliana, my best friend, sent me a gift and I haven't vlogged it yet for you guys. I did receive it early and she said to open it. So first thing was this for Chris and I. It's the couple's edition of the, um, shoot, what's it called? Hold on. It's like a getting to know you game, but this one's the couple's edition. I'll link it for you guys or put it right here. But I think that this is such a good idea. See, there's different kinds of questions. Like there's some that are racier and some that are, see, connection. Some are about connection. Some are about perception. And then this one is reflection. So we haven't played this yet, but I'm excited to do so over the holiday break for sure. And then she got two things off my Amazon wish list too. This beanie, which Chris was like, ooh, cool, a beanie. I'm like, um, no, this is actually for me. <laughs> but anyways, I really wanted one to style um, different kinds of outfits that I want to wear a hat, but not like a baseball cap. So you'll see me wearing this soon. And this, if you guys don't know what this is, it's, it's an ice roller. So you fill this with water and then it becomes like this big pill size piece of ice that you roll onto your face. And I know that sounds crazy, but it has a lot of great benefits and you do it in the morning. So I'm going to start doing this and I will share it with you um, probably tomorrow morning when I do it for the first time. Starting the pignoli cookies, which are like a pine nut chewy almond cookie. So we've got almond paste that I just put through the food processor. And then I'm going to be doing egg whites very slowly through this. And this is where it gets a little temperamental because you got to make sure you know what consistency. I'll show you what's the desirable consistency. Um, and then you're going to roll that in pine nuts. But I'll show you all the steps in a second. <laughs> but first step, food processor, get it to this kind of crumb consistency, the almond paste, and I'll show you the next step in a second. Here. Also, I am watching White Christmas for the first time this season. And many of you might have been wondering um, if we're going to the Nutcracker Ballet, and I don't think we are. I can't believe I'm saying this because it is a tradition of ours, but we, we are not going to that this year. And one other tradition, I'm not sure if we're going to decorate gingerbread men this year or not. Um, but we'll see because my mom said she might bring some tomorrow for us to decorate. <laughs> so we will see. But I do have many cookies and fun goodies for tomorrow. Okay, I need to get to bacon. This is what you want to happen for it to come together into a dough like this on its own as you pulse it. So it ended up being only half. So I think only one egg yolk this time. I'm gonna see how it feels. Yeah, it's super, I think that this is correct. <laughs> so that's what I mean that it's temperamental. You never know how much egg white you're gonna need. So just be really careful with it. Okay, so then you roll the dough up like this roll it into the pine nuts, kind of press them down a little bit onto the pan, and now I'm gonna put them in the oven. So these are the few special ornaments that we're gonna put on the tree this evening. Uh, many of these are from past trips to Disney and um, other places. You guys will recognize these new ornaments from our cruise right here. We have one from the Grand Canyon, California. This is when we went with the kids to La Jolla and Coronado. Um, we have two different first Christmases in our new home because we moved in 2019 and 2021. Not planning to move anytime soon. This one was for, from Colorado when we went on that train, which was so cool. We have our Seattle one when we went to take our engagement pictures here. And then this one's from our wedding. My parents got us this when we first got married. Our first Christmas ornament, Holly's first Christmas ornament. Um, and then lots of Disney ones, because I got Disney, 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 Disney. This one was when we went with Gavin in July. I feel like I'm missing a couple of Disney ones. I've got to find them. I found the other one that I was missing. It was in the other 
box of ornaments, but this one was from February of um, this year when we went during Valentine's Day. Or near Valentine's Day, I should say. just came over with our favorite wine oh yeah Austin Hope well my favorite wine and I think everyone's in sangria oh it's gonna be a good night tomorrow of celebration So done with the chocolate chip cookies. Um, most of the batches came out perfect like this, but one batch came out a little bit toastier. It's not burnt, it's just a little bit crispier on the edges. So I have that batch separated, but cookies are done. Now I actually have one more present that just came in the mail today for Chris. So I have to wrap that right now, and then I'm gonna get to editing. Um, and then we're going to put some of our special ornaments on our tree in our bedroom. We still haven't done that. So we will do that too before we go to bed. I can't believe it's Christmas Eve tomorrow already. Day 10 of my Charlotte Tilbury calendar. Feels like some kind of pencil. Yep. Let's see. This looks like a lip liner. It's, yep, it's a lip cheat in hot gossip. Looks like that perfect color for the lipstick that came in yesterday's.